welcome to Biology. So welcome back to the V Hive. Well, guys, the time is here, and it begins my fall home tour 2020. I am gonna bring you into our home for fall 2020. Babe, I miss your body. Where some of these items came from i absolutely love the cleanness to this so i will start off with this pedestal this um granite pedestal is on four feet um there's the feet and this did come from ross department store and if i'm not mistaken i paid 8.99 for it this is a candle and it is a pear and as you can tell our kitchen for the fall has the theme of a pear so i did pick this up at home goods and it was three dollars and 99 cents so that gives me my pop of green in here this um i did pick up at home goods um i may still have the tag on it um no i don't um, if I'm not mistaken, I did pay $9.99 for it, so um, it's still brand new. It's, I'm just using it for decor, and I left that in there because I want to make sure that um, it did not chip or anything. This is my... It is just absolutely so pretty. It gives a different statement in your kitchen, and I did pick it up from Home Goods. For $14.99. So um, I do have another one that is taller than this one that I just don't have out. And here I have another granite um, cutting board and I absolutely love the colors in that. So this one came from Ross Department Store also and I paid $5.99 for it. And then if you can see on the back I have the large bread cutting board and I did pick up this one from home goods um, it had a different color let me see if I can slide it out of there it had another color on it and it was not to my likings and it is this blue and unfortunately it cannot come off it is made by the everyday company um, so what I did I just took the tag off the back and flip it and put it in. So that is the bread cutting board. That is on my kitchen counter. And my thing, I wanted things to look clean. One of them is the low carb Bible. And the other one is the great cookbook. So um, I have these two, and of course, you know, we are doing low carb. And the other book, it had my Papa Green in it. And can you believe, guys, I picked this book up from the Dollar Tree. And this is what this book originally cost, $40. And I pick up from the Dollar Tree. And um, if I wanted to open it up, on my book stand it has absolutely some beautiful pictures look at that salad so um yes this is a beautiful book i've heard so many things about this book some years ago but i am so happy that i was one to look up to find that and if you remember buddy um he had an injury about two weeks ago so praying for him and a recovery for his hand. So guys, this was a great find at Dollar Tree. So I just have these two books in my corner and that is how they sit on this side, um, which is still in somewhat of, that is over in the corner. So over here, I do have a corporate light and I have the potpourri off it right now. And of course, we have the theme of 
pears. So I do have some lines because it was a darker green and I just have them inside of these. I purchased those many, many years ago. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I did get them from Home Goods about three to four years ago. And I do have three sizes. So now I am using them for that. And my potpourri pot came from Home Goods some years ago. And also, this is another cutting board. As I told you guys, I really love the clean looks. Look at the different colors that's in it. And it is picking up with so many colors of our granite countertop. So this one, um, I think I paid $9.99 for that one. So that is what this side I've looks like. I've seen this before because um, we had a vignette um, for a collab and I did do this. This is the Mackenzie Childs and um, I absolutely love these. I found these on Facebook Marketplace and um, about four or five months ago, maybe a little bit longer. And I paid $10 for the set. Um, this one is a happiness homemade daily and I picked this up at home goods and of course this um, I picked it up at home goods also so it was a great pair and a pop of color that green so that was perfect and this doubt dish towel came from Hobby Lobby and also this one is picking up the black grays and the whites and of course um, with this I told you on a previous video on a vignette that I made this and um, yeah it is still holding up perfect and um, it's absolutely so beautiful I've had a lot of people ask me about this piece and it's so inexpensive and very nice to look at on your stove and right below that I just have another dishcloth with a white one up under for London. So that is how my stove sits. So on this side, I have my salt and pepper shakers. I did pick these up from Home Goods, And then I have my vinegar and my oil canisters. And they are also Home Goods. And of course, I have another Kinder Pear. And if that's from Home Goods also. And um, in this one, guys, I have a different oil in this. This one is the avocado oil. I love that one. This one is, um, I can't remember what the name of it, but it has a lemon flavor and it is so very good. And on that one is apple cider vinegar with the mother that is inside that one. These are just for just pretty because of course, you know, I use grill mates. So, of course, this is another one of the pedestals. Um, you see, oh, there's the foot. So, um, yes, as I told you, I absolutely just love. See how that's picking up a little bit of the green, the white, on that side, the black. And those are the same colors that's in our countertop. So, um, I absolutely love this. This is a gift that I received. I love my toaster. It is four. You can put four bagels or four slices of bread at one time. It did come from Williams Sonoma. If I do see it still on the website, I will link it below. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like $249.50. But I will link it down below hand sanitizer so this one is the hand sanitizer everyone in the home knows which is which so this is the hand sanitizer and this is the liquid soap and guys um i did a home cleaning i absolutely love this it smells so absolutely so good and i did pick it up from the dollar tree and also this piece came from hobby lobby i caught it on the Christmas sale, I think it was, and I did get it on clearance for 99 cents. So it is so absolutely pretty and it's pulling my stripes like my dishcloth. So I do love that. About this, this is just for up for pretty pretty. And this is my wooden tray. I've had this tray, guys, 
mm, probably about five years now and I did pick it up from Target if I'm not mistaken it was like $28 I'm not sure if they still have it I will check to see if there is a link to something similar I will um, then I have one of my green balls and this is a black dish towel and I picked this up at home goods it said thankful so I thought that was very fitting because of the wooden element. And also, of course, you know, we are in our autumn and Thanksgiving season, getting close to. And of course, we're all thankful just to be here. And I did a white pumpkin, my two glasses, and I did put in two black napkins. And this is a wine. It is called the Chocolate Shop. So I put that in because I wanted something that was a rich element for this side. So guys, this is my tray, my vignette. This, I wanted something that was very slim line, sleek, but had a bit of mm to it. So of course, I bought this, guys, from a yard sale in our subdivision about, I think, the first year that we would live here. We've been here three years, and this is a pair, and it was absolutely perfect because it was green, and that is my theme. And this, this is a vase that I pick up from the Dollar Tree, and these beauties... I have four of those and I did pick those up from Hobby Lobby. So I just wanted something that was elegant. Yes, a statement piece, but um, this is what I put together. And um, on this side, it is part of our breakfast room, but our chairs are here. And if you're on my IG, you know that the seats was a different color. I redid those because I wanted them close to the material here so i did recover those and i absolutely love what they look like so um guys this is my kitchen
did have a juke black and beige rug that I had in there, but it made the kitchen absolutely too dark. So I decided to put in this beige rug. Um, it's a runner, which let me bring you closer to it. It's bringing in my blanks, my beige, my grays, all the colors that is in this rug is actually in my kind of tops. So, um, yes, I, I absolutely love this. It's given the kitchen a bright, bright, bright look. And um, this is the whole total overview of my kitchen. And I keep my trash can here. So, um, yeah. So, this is our kitchen. So, guys, this is our kitchen, and hopefully you did enjoy our kitchen tour for the fall. And look forward to our next video. Please like, comment, share, thumbs up our video. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And, guys, you know what I always say at the end? I gotta go, but I will be back. And until the next time, guys, bye.